Gift guides are a great way to share products you love with your audience, drive traffic to your website, and earn affiliate income. They are mostly popular during the holiday season, but some gift guides can drive traffic to your website all year round. My name is May, and I help online entrepreneurs grow their audience with Pinterest. So whether you are a teacherpreneur, a business blogger, or a health coach, you are bound to have products that you want to share with your audience. As a service-based business owner, I'm always on the lookout for client gift ideas, and most of the time when I Google, I would end up on a blog post with a curated gift guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a pen-worthy gift guide collage using Canva. Okay, now we're in Canva. I created a new file with a size of 1000 pixels by 1500. This is the size recommended by Pinterest. You want to make sure that before you start creating, um, you want to plan out your layout first with your title and your images. And you want to have all your images ready so that you don't waste time trying to grab the images from different sites. Okay, so I'm going to add a title here. We're going to call this gift guy for female entrepreneurs. I'm going to change this font to a scripted font and make the size bigger and change the color. Okay. The next thing you want to do is plan out your image uh, frames. There are two types of um, frames that you can add in. There are different shapes from frames and grids. So the only problem with the items in the frame is that let's say you're taking this one, you can only, you know, uh, resize like this. You cannot stretch it vertically or horizontally. So I like to use the grids instead of the frame, which you can find it here. So when you add the grid, it, it, it will become like this, but you can adjust it to any size that you want. So in my example, I have eight products I'm going to add. Okay, you can reshape, resize these later. So I'm going to plan out eight images, um, eight image frames here first. I meant nine images. I have nine images in this example. Okay. All I need to do is drag these images over here. Okay, we can adjust them later. For now, we just want the images in here first. It's pretty fast, isn't it? Last one. There you go. So as you can see, um, you know, some of the images are not the right fit. They are not showing up properly. So that's how you can adjust your image frame. When you choose your images, it's best that, you know, there's no background so that um, um, so that it looks nice on on a, against a white background. Make sure that they are, you know, the background for your images are removed and like this one you'll see that there is some background over here you know it's not quite white there's some shadows in here i'm using canva pro so what i can do is i can just remove the background by going to effects and background remover if you don't have canva pro you can go to a website like remove.bg um, remove.bg or use photoshop to remove your background so here you have there you have it the background is removed so next what you want to do is adjust the sizes of your pictures so that you know they fit nicely on the guide as you can see i'm only using nine images so it fits perfectly on this um, frame if you have more than more images you can use a slightly longer frame can use a slightly longer uh, file size for your as your base so that it can fit in more images or make your images smaller you can style them as yeah, you like but I want to keep them but I want to keep them this way for this example okay one more thing you need to add 
or I, I recommend you add is your website so that you know people will recognize your website when they when they see this gift guide and they know where to find this gift guide you can select them all and adjust the the overall size so that you know there's more white space and it doesn't look so cluttered this could be your final look but um, sometimes gift guides if you have on your blog post if you have each number associated with each item what you can do is add in the number for each gift item so over here I'm gonna add numbers there you go and there you have it but I want to spruce this up a little bit with uh, by adding some elements to make it feel more festive I found under elements you can find lots of elements or patterns that you can add to the background uh, for this example I'm going to choose this one here and I want to make sure that I change the colors to match this whole look and I'm going to add some at the bottom there you go one bonus tip if you're uploading this on Pinterest I would recommend experimenting with videos or animated graphics what you can do is you can either animate this let's say you use this one so it will appear like this on Pinterest this is a very simple animated graphic so that it stands out on your feet another way um, you can do this is you know if you have more than nine items instead of making it a long um, graphic what you can do is you can make two pages of this gift guide I'm gonna I just duplicated uh, this page assuming that um, this is your first page and this is your second page and on your first page you will have um, something like like a cover page you know there you go you, you got a cover page over here and your, this is your first page and this is your second page how it's gonna look is what what you can do on Canva is that you can download this th these three pages as a video and I'm gonna download this as a video I'm gonna choose these three pages so now you have a video a pin video pin that looks like a slideshow showcasing your gift ideas there you have it